Hello there everybody, Peter of England here, today bringing you a video concerning the United Kingdom and British Constitution. Now, over the last several weeks, I have been receiving many emails from people who are fed up to the back teeth with the situation concerning the Brexit betrayal. So today's entitlement on the video is not TR News for Tommy Robinson News, but TR News standing for Tax Revolt News. It's a message that's going out to all the people in the United Kingdom. I'm saying to you, I have a plan, I have a proposal, I have a proposition, so that you can ensure that your voices are heard and heard with the echo of a pin dropping in a crypt. If you are feeling tired, if you are feeling disillusioned, if you are feeling fed up, stressed out, betrayed by the 650 traitors in the Westminster Parliament, then I would suggest that you join with me now and do something about it. Because you have been messed around, you've been led a merry dance, you have been fooled, you have been asked about for 34 months by Theresa May and her political puppet masters and her masters who are controlling her from the previous association through the Tavistock Institute with Madame or Frau Merkel in Germany um, with a, a concerted desire and agenda never to allow the United Kingdom to leave the uh, European Union. So that's been the agenda all along. May has been there simply to run down the clock. Run down the clock over a two year and nine month period which just so happened to numerologically coincide with the 29th of March when we should have been leaving. And that hasn't happened. 34 months of stalling. 34 uh, months of procrastination. 34 months of nothing, so that the country is disorientated and confused on a very simple principle. Now, I ask yourself, if you and I, as very, very wealthy billionaires, decided we wanted to purchase some very large conglomerates or groups or companies, we would have a team of lawyers, a legal team appointed, one of the top firms in the city, I assure you, uh, would be able to put a deal together within two to three months with a few hundred staff and paralegals working on it. So ask yourself the question, with all the might of the British government, with all of Whitehall and with all of the civil servants there supposedly putting their weight behind this, why hasn't it happened? Well, I'll tell you why it hasn't happened, because the Mays in bed with the Corbyns, with the Burkos, with the Boris Johnsons, with the Starmers, with either side of the political uh, divide. So what we have is a collection of oppo saints. And Corbyn now is basically saying, as he said before, uh, he wants open border policy and he thinks that it needs another referendum. Wow, what incredible news. So this message is going out today to Nigel Farage, to Nigel Farage's uh, Brexit party. It's going out to UKIP. It's going out to Gerald Batten, the leader of UKIP. It's also going out to Tommy Robinson, who's got a great deal of followers, and so I have a proposition and a proposal that I'm putting out to all of you. So for all of those Tommy Robinson supporters who are listening to this now, please, please make sure you pass it on to whoever and everyone possible that you can imagine because now we need action. We need numbers because what's happened with the parliamentary 650 traitorous dogs sitting there in Westminster, the hyenas and the jackals that are ripping you from, uh, ripping your uh, tax from you, ripping your social lives off you, uh, basically making you look like an ineffectual 12 year old. Um, what they've done is they've done something called shock testing. So shock testing was an engineering uh, protocol that was probably uh, 
enumerated for the very first time in a meaningful way in the Second World War. And in effect, what it was used is to test, under shock conditions, uh, the, uh, the ability of an aircraft or a tank or other instrument of war as to how much it could stand before it fell apart. So with the shock testing that's being applied upon you, what they're doing is basically seeing what you will take, what you will withstand. And if you withstand it up to a point and don't break, and what we mean by that is the people don't go onto the streets, then they take this as an implied consent to continue. And that's what we've got as a situation now. So, please remember, constitutionally, there is a socially implied contract between the governed and those that govern, between the people and the crown. And this socially implied contract, in a nutshell, states that in return for taxation rights being imposed upon you by Westminster or the Crown, in return for those taxation rights, the Crown promises to rule you and look after you with honesty, fairness and transparency. The moment that that social contract is broken by either party leads to dissent. And it usually leads to some type of civil war. So, a question I would like to ask all of you out there. Do you believe that Theresa May and the British government that are arsing you from dusk till dawn, do you actually believe that they are being honourable, truthful and clear with their principles to you? The answer is a rhetorical question, uh, answer to that question, and I'm sure you understand it's a no. So, once this social contract is voided, then the government is acting as a lyingly corrupt criminal elite. And you have a social, spiritual, legal and moral obligation to act against it. Failure to do so renders you complicit in its criminality with no right of redress. So, this is a call to arms. This is a call to action. And how are we going to perform this call to action? What is the solution? Well, many people would say that if a corporation is, um, is not performing with the best interests of the people at heart, whether it's selling a product such as uh, uh, soap, whether it's selling a product such as uh, vehicles, that either are a danger or uh, lack any sort of moral integrity or are uh, using, uh, shall we say, manufacturing um, traditions or expectations that incur uh, 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 slavery and other, shall we say, inhuman practices to produce that product, then people engineer or offer a boycott against that corporation. They hit that corporation where it hurts it most in the pocket. Now, as far as TR News is concerned here, as I said, it's not Tommy Robinson News, it's Tax Revolt News. Under the PAYEC, sorry, under the PAYE system, you don't have the right at the moment, it would seem, to prevent your employer deducting your tax at source. Uh, with the self-assessment, you have a possibility of not declaring the tax. However, the best way of hitting Westminster government to make them listen to you, the people, is by hitting the local taxation authority. And how do we do that? We refuse to pay council tax. We refuse to pay council tax, not just on a whim, but on the basis of an abrogation of a voiding of a breaking of a social contract between you, the people, and these characters in Westminster, the so-called government. So, what I'm suggesting to you is, please follow the links below. Send an email to admin1 at freemanlegalservices.com. In the email, simply put, I'm in. Tax boycott, I'm in, or taxation revolt, 
I'm in. Not only that, make sure you obviously put the, press the subscribe button so more information will come direct to you and also the little bell for the notifications. Please read the information in the link down below as well because what I want to do now is to organise you not to pay taxes to the council but I need to help you to help me to do it through Freeman Legal Services in a legal, coherent manner. So, not legal whether they want you to pay or whether they don't want you to pay, but simply to back your argument up and your statement of action with the law. So, I would ask those of you who are interested, please, obviously send the email, but please try and get certain groups together. So, for every one of you listening to this who likes the idea, then what I would suggest is, please try and just get five to ten other people who would like to refuse to pay their council tax. Get these people together and you can then coordinate or administer them as a hub leader. So, this is what we're looking for. A tax revolt for the non-payment of local authority taxation in a meaningful way to bring the local government and therefore its parent body, the Westminster government, to its knees. Because there doesn't seem to be any other way that they listen. And this is as gentle a way as I can suggest, but it is the most effective way. So this video has got to go viral. It's got to go to all and everyone. If you see some of the previous videos on the channel, uh, when I posted before, the last one as the open letter or open video to Tommy Robinson, We've had over 86,000 views on that. Uh, for the class action lawsuit that we're starting against Facebook in the United States, over 62 or 65,000 uh, views. So many, many people have subscribed to this. So this is now directed at you, the people of England, the people of Scotland and Wales and Northern Ireland. Come together now and let's boycott the bastards. Let's make them pay attention to us because what's going to happen is they're going to move this to another referendum if possible. As I warned before, there's never been an intention of taking you out. And you can see this quite clearly by the wake of the ship. So, as the Buddhists would say, don't look at the, the ship as it sits there now in the water. Look at the track and the trail that it's left behind it to see where it's come from, and also what it's left behind. So, can you believe that in these 34 months that something couldn't have been resolved? And also, for all of those of you out there who voted to remain, ask yourself, please, why on earth did you want to ever stay in an organisation that you can see wants to trap you, imprison you, and make sure that once in, like a fish trap, Never a way out. You want to stay in because it's an economic miracle, do you? With every country in Europe bankrupt. With all the people on the streets protesting against it. Why do you want to stay? Because you like the flag, the pretty flag with the stars on. Or you like the idea of a kilogram. Or you like the idea of using the same currency throughout Europe. When you don't even have the same currency in, in your own country. So please, wise up, wake up. Get on board, let's do this, let's get all of these political parties, even people who are in the Labour Party, even the people who are in the, the Conservative Party, which I haven't addressed. I mainly address this to people like Nigel Farage, who was the, the godfather of the Brexit movement. Uh, Nigel Farage's Brexit Party now, as I've said before. UKIP, Tommy Robinson, all these people and all the people who want to leave the 17 million out there. So if this video isn't getting millions of uptake views, and if we are not receiving millions of I'm in um, emails stating that they are now, and you are now, all prepared to take action, then what's it for? The shock test was proved to be effective. They'll run you further into the ground until you're as white as a sheet and bloodless on the ground. So, look at the links below, subscribe, take the notification, get in touch with us, let's go.
Peter of England saying thanks for watching. More videos coming soon.